Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make some wine from some grape juice. So today I am using the Santa Cruz organic grape. Um, I like to use organic or at least all natural so I know it doesn't have any preservatives, anything that can help inhibit, inhibit yeast growth. Um, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and rehydrate the yeast along with two and a half grams of go firm. So let's go ahead and put a little bit of that in there. Pour in the half packet of yeast I had left. And go ahead and add that. Now, I sanitized this one earlier, but I'm just going to go ahead and re-sanitize it. And give it a bit of a mix here. gonna stick to the sides a little bit but I'll just get that out when I pour it in okay so that's gonna sit off to the side here until we're done and ready to pitch so let's go ahead and grab the juice pour some of that in there I'm also going to be using some grape juice from Concentrate. Ingredients are grape juice. So there's no preservatives, nothing else in there. And this is going to help to bump the ABV up a little bit. Because if I stuck with just the grape juice, that would put it at around 9.2% uh, alcohol. And I want to get this up a little bit higher because I know the D47 is a tolerance of 14%. Um, I know it can go higher than that too, but I'm actually wanting it to retain a little bit of sweetness. So I want it to get down to about the 14%, have about 1% left over, um, which would just add the sugars to it. All right, get that mixed in. So I'm adding that and one more ingredient. And that ingredient is one and a half cups of just standard granulated table sugar. This is going to get it bumped up to, I'm expecting about 1.119, 1119, which is about 15.4% alcohol if it ferments down all the way. So I'm going to go ahead and add this to the juice and the concentrate that I already poured and give that a bit of a mix. So I mixed up a little bit in here. I'm actually going to throw the rest of it into the carboy and then mix it from there. It'll be a lot easier. All right, pour it in. So I'd actually recommend just adding it all to the fermenter instead of trying to pour because you can see there's a bit of sludge left in there I'm going to have to get out now. But what I'm going to go ahead and do is mix this up pretty well and then just pour some more from the bottle into the pitcher here, mix that up again and add it. Easiest way to mix it is just grab a carboy bung, 
that stuck in there pretty good. Plug the hole, shake it up. This actually serves two purposes. One, it mixes it, and two, you can see how much it's foaming up. That's adding oxygen into the must, which the yeast need to start the colony growing. mix here so I'm just going to use this baking spatula here to mix it up Had a little accident off camera, got everything cleaned up, so we're back at it again here. So we're going to go ahead and fill this up eh, a little more than that. Right about there should be good. Give it a mix again. So what I'm doing here, I'm shaking it a bit and then looking at the bottom to see if I see any solids forming. Looks pretty good. Alright, now my yeast has been rehydrating in here and getting some nutrients. You can see it's kind of started to foam up a little bit. The yeast is kind of mixed throughout it now. So we'll add this, we'll top this off to the final amount, which is right above where I have the, uh, or right at where I have this tape level. That's marked at a gallon. All right, top it off some more. Okay, you can see how it's filming up like that. So that, a lot of that yeast nutrient didn't get fully dissolved in there. So it's kind of creating nucleation points for bubbles to form. That will go down after a couple of minutes. Let's go ahead and top this off to the final amount and uh, take a gravity reading. Alright, now this is just some water that I ran through the bottles just to get the rest of the juice out. There's some juice still left in the bottom. difficult with all the foam. Let it die down a little bit as it goes. A little bit of a bubble over. But that will die down and I think once the level evens out after the foam goes away it's going to be right about where I want it. So I'm just going to set that off to the side bubble and go down and then we'll be back.
All right, so it's settled down quite a bit. You can see it's evened up to pretty much those lines there. So the last thing to do is check gravity reading and then put it under an airlock. Now this has already been sanitized. And I expected this to be about 11.19 or so, so we'll see how close I am. Now normally if you wait too long to check your initial gravity it's going to be off because alcohol will throw off your reading. However, it hasn't been long enough. I don't think it's really a factor. Go ahead and check that out here. It's right at 1100. I did add a little bit more water than I was expecting, so that was going to throw it down a little bit. Already been sanitized, I'm not worried about throwing this back in there. So, all that's left to do is to put an airlock on this, stick it in the closet of fermentation, and let it go for a while. Um, imagine probably about three weeks before it's completely done because there's a little bit higher gravity but should be all set now I'm not worried about doing any other yeast nutrient additions because I actually hope this doesn't ferment all the way um, I did the initial just to get it going faster with the go firm but I'm not gonna worry about doing step nutrition or anything with it just let it go how it is all right thanks guys see you later